You might want to put your seat belts on because it's going to be a bumpy ride. If you're new, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new because listen, man, I've seen a lot of your comments uh, about, yo, is that GTA 6 gameplay real? And it is 110% real. Take two, take 2 is taken down and, and it's just crazy. We even got the subreddit for GTA 6 going down, citing legal issues. Oh take 2 lawyers are in full effect. My man, there is a video I want to show you because there is a GTA 6 gameplay leaking on. We had 90 plus clips and essentially there's a guy that hacked uber not long ago and allegedly he just went inside the rockstar servers like a walk in the park kind of thing and he went inside and he ended up dead ass hacking them they he dead ass did a massive heist at rockstar games and ended up leaking a lot of people are saying that he's our hero a lot of people are saying that he shouldn't have done that and quite frankly it's kind of dumb that he did that because right now there's a gta 5 source code being sold he's trying to leak the gta 6 source code which i really hope doesn't happen because if that happens well say goodbye to gta 6 releasing in 2024 we might be waiting till 2027 the one level of the guy who leaked gta 6 it ended up getting 151,000 likes oh I mean, God. Can, can a brother get two likes and there's a video i want to show you and there's a lot more going around bro like get ready man put your seat belts on well bro. ladies and gentlemen history appears to be happening today based on an absolutely remarkable leak this comes a day after the nine year anniversary of Grand Theft Auto 5, but Damn. over 90 clips footage of Grand Theft Auto 6, an early build what, from what appears to be early 2020, 2021 has leaked. And I have to uh, be we're also here in 2019 as well. Extremely careful with how I discuss this leak as Rockstar is a very litigious company and they will most certainly be taking down all of this. It does yeah. definitely sound like an announcement. They don't do helicopters with their release. They do it, but not to this extent. meant for this game has to be on the horizon and I'll be talking about all of that whenever that does happen. But today we're going to break down this leak, everything that has happened, where it originated, and right now the reaction that's going through the internet, which is just... Everybody seems to be mind blown. But it yeah. started on the GTA forum, so the random poster from a random account. It has a, it's a United Arab Emirates account named uh, Teapot uber hacker that that was the user's name he wrote Brother, so it was a habibi all along boom oh God. here are 90 footage slash clips for gta 6 it's possible i could leak more data soon gta 5 and 6 source code and assets gta 6 testing build and then they added their telegram and a download link this download Damn. link includes boatloads dude who would have thought that we would be alive to see this day who would have thought this just came out of nowhere it came out uh, like in the middle of the night i made a video i took it down myself because allegedly at that time i didn't know if i was real or not but i took it down myself because hey man like i don't want to get bumbo cut of videos it's just it's impossible for this to be leaked with all of the detail the rockstar trademark is all over this this is the real deal grand theft auto 6 has in fact leaked and yes indeed it is a real game so again i have to reiterate <laughs> that i'm not going to be Dude, showing this is kind of sad it's both hype like i'm really excited for this man the the, the stuff that i've seen i mean sheesh, it's kind of crazy now uh, admittedly the graphics are not there and it's understandable because it's old footage it is development it is a uh, debug footage so it's kind of understandable but uh, the, the the thing that's sad about it is that man we waited years and years for it to leak from a hacker and it didn't even came from rockstar themselves right that's actually sad i wish it came from rockstar i genuinely believe that trailer is soon how soon time will tell us for sure but it's footage sad. in this video and i assume that by the time this has gone viral everybody's talking about it throughout the day much of these videos and clips have been taken down because all of this apparently has been from hacked material taken from rockstar games that is an important note to make this individual who made this post on the gta forums which was gta 6 america's leak it's 90 plus mp4 footage videos this is what he wrote in various comments on the GTA forums. Who said they are in-game pictures? It's a export of Confluence page used for development of cameras in Americas. I haven't actually Damn. played it myself, but I played GTA 5 and it looks nothing like GTA 5 whatsoever. Those videos were downloaded from Slack, employee communications, and the only way that they got access to that had to have been by hacking. And for what it is worth- e e e See, like, that's probably my guy. Bombocat! He did a massive heist at Rockstar, but this is a massive heist. This is gonna be in the history books, man. September 17th, this is the nine year anniversary for GTA 5 and guess what man GTA 6 ended up leaking out crazy bro it is unconfirmed at this moment but it appears this hacker is actually the same one who just attacked uber the other day Damn. if you don't know about that situation a very very brief breakdown of it is this individual hacked into uber slack communications and leaked everything that was on there they wrote Hi 
Bomboka! <laughs> I announced I'm a hacker and Uber has suffered a data breach. Slack has been stolen confidential data with Confluence, Stash, and two mono repos from Fabricator have also been stolen. Mono repos? Mono repos, bro. I don't even know Bruh. what they mean, but that Along means. Along with but... secrets from sneakers. Hashtag Uber under pace drives. And then all of the Uber employees that were a part of that Slack communication channel thought it was a joke. They were laughing at it. It was not. That individual legitimately hacked it. And it appears. Yeah, that could the... you imagine like working at Rockstar Games and seeing like everything that's going around? At first, you were like, nah, nah, nah this is just in another league this is just a gta6 trends for no reason whatsoever and then you look at the leaks and you're like ah and you realize it's the real deal my man damn son damn and allegedly this is the same leaker this is the same hacker and this is by far the biggest hack in the gaming industry since like 2011 2012 y'all remember the Sony Pony 3 leak, or Sony Pony 3 hack, uh, PS3 hack, where the uh, servers went offline for a solid month. I mean, damn, man, this is gonna be talked about for weeks and weeks and years to come, man. The same individual is the one who went after Rockstar Games' Slack channel as well. Now, again, assuming that this is the same individual, according to The Verge, the hacker oh, claimed right. to the New York Times to be 18 years old and told The Post that they breached Uber for fun and is considering leaking the company's source code in a conversation. My man, do you really hack and leak for fun? Bomboka! ...with cybersecurity researcher Corbin Leo. They also claim to have gained access to Uber systems through login credentials obtained from an employee via social engineering, which allowed them to access an internal company VPN. From there, they found PowerShell scripts on Uber's intranet containing access management credentials that allowed them to allegedly breach Uber's AWS and G Suite Damn. accounts. And I imagine something very similar has happened here with Rockstar Games, assuming, again, all of this is legitimate. But again, it's three gigabytes of footage that all looks very, yeah. very good much like a listen man there's so many people that downloaded that footage it is crazy it's three gigabytes and right now jason schreier rockstar game dev he spoke with rockstar game devs they confirm it's legit i mean it was pretty obvious let's keep a buck 50 here that nobody's gonna go to that extent have dialogue in the game right like if you've seen the footage you know it's legit but i do know a lot of people are saying that you man it's just your watchdogs too it's just watchdogs too and i don't blame anybody man because yep uh, like do you really want to bleed the leaks but now it is very apparent the biggest thing of them all here is that take two is issuing dmc strikes it is real it is as real as ufos flying over top of your head grand theft auto game in development now to a breakdown of this gameplay footage as noted by comicbook.com the leak includes 90 videos all from various points throughout development while some are just a character walking or testing some technical stuff there are a few interesting tidbits to pull the most notable video features the rumored bonnie and clyde like couple supposedly named lucia and jason and, and bro like that lucia whatever they have yeah lucia lucia dude she got big kicks they are popping out those kicks were popping out in the gameplay if you've seen the game one in the chat if you've seen the gameplay drop a thumbs up if you've seen the gameplay those kicks were popping out bro robbing a diner pulp fiction style and doing crowd control before the cops arrive. Again, this looks very similar to Red Bomboka! Dead Redemption 2's robbery mechanics when you get into a train, just obviously implemented into Grand Theft Auto and obviously in a diner. Another video shows a character walking with a pistol in their hand and a rifle on their back, suggesting Rockstar will be using the RDR2 inventory system that only lets you keep a couple of weapons on you at a time. Previous and also, those of you that remember the, the, the first ever picture for GTA 6 that was, that was officially teased by Rockstar, I know there was a massive debate about that. A lot of people were like, nah, man, this is not anything related to GTA 6. Well, with this gameplay, that has been proven legit i really cannot show you in this video because they will be they will send me in another dimension but in gta trilogy the defective edition when you go inside somewhere i don't remember there's a picture on the wall that has a house with a ufo in the back and the clouds in that was not matching ever the gta 5 it was not matching with red dead redemption 2 and guess what folks those clouds ended up matching with that gta 6 gameplay leak it did people did a comparison I'm pretty sure it's easy to find, but I'm not able to show you in this video directly. This GTA games let you carry a full arsenal in an invisible pocket, but that might, but that may be going away with this new entry. A different video shows off one of Rockstar's proprietary tools in action, further lending some credibility to the leak. It also appears like the game will feature incredibly dense crowds based on one video in a strip club. And no, Rockstar did not tone down any of these strip clubs. My man, those kicks were kind of popping out. Like, I saw those. The first thing all those motherfuckers said that, yo, the kicks, like, she got, oh, she got kicks, she got kicks. And the amount of people that would be asking about her OnlyFans, that would be in the millions, man. Like, the same people that were like, yo, man, I, I do not want to play as a female. Now they're going to be down bad. They're going to be asking for the OnlyFans, and you know it's real. It looks just like how it was in Grand Theft Auto V, if not a little bit more raunchy based on the footage that I've seen so far. And as of recording this video, there are now reports emerging that Grand Theft Auto 6 source code has 
has indeed leaked. This is bad news. This could create some massive issues within Rockstar, which may include internal delays. And I imagine we. Yeah, man. Like that's the thing that I'm genuinely worried about. That's the thing I'm, I think most people are worried about, even Rockstar, because yeah, in a, in a way though, the the gameplay ended up leaking out, right? Yeah, what could that do? What that's not necessarily gonna harm them. It's gonna harm them to some extent because yeah, there are people that are gonna see that and gonna be like, yeah, the GTA 6 is whack. It's just like all the other unfinished games it's gonna be like watchdogs it's gonna be like saints row it's gonna be like another you know defective version yeah surely there will be a lot of people that would say that but when they see official gameplay and the game comes out they're gonna be like okay that looked good i want to buy it right so I, I don't think anybody's really worried if not this press has uh, just given gta 6 a lot more boost this has given uh rockstar games a lot more eyes and you know what like a lot of people would now be really looking forward to gta 6 so this is not necessarily gonna hurt them in that aspect temporarily it can but the biggest thing here is the source code hearing that gta 5 source code is going on sale and there's like this is something i want to show you as well the gta 5 source code was just bought for 100k and it's not true though Bomba uh, it's not true i i love the homie likes even i thought it was bought but the guy who actually came out it was i believe ben video tech on youtube on twitter on twitter who said that it was bought and later he confirmed that it was just a made-up thing it's not currently bought out and uh it, it's just uh, somebody that made it up but but indeed the source code is being sold online it's being sold and eventually somebody will buy that and now that person is threatening rockstar daddy rockstar directly by saying that hey man if you do not give me five figures i saw that bro like the the, the we got that massive thread you got videos being taken down as well and there's this thread i wanna uh, yeah you, you can see like ex word is getting exchanged with the hacker and with rockstar games the hacker has now said that he will sell gt5 source code and assets and will not accept any offer under five figures damn son yeah, man and rockstar is taking down all the leaked footage of gta 6 and banning channels posting the content rockstar is getting blackmailed now for the gta 6 source code this is the wildest game leak of all time and indeed it is we'll see a statement from them eventually after you know they go after everybody with copyright strikes and such but from these leaked videos what did appear in them we had development videos showing rockstar developers adjusting car seats mirrors other objects within vehicles and multiple video clips uh, rockstar developers names appear that's just again puts further authenticity behind this leak the rockstar world editor tool was shown from jason's point of view there was multiple animation clips of the user using a handgun there was a testing clip of attacking a diner worker with an assault rifle multiple testing animation clips of players taking cover there's a test of Jason interacting with the seats of an outdoor concert venue near an ocean with tall buildings in the distance, trees swaying, and multiple boats passing by. One main clip there is just so much that leaked out. There's also like the Y City subway system that leaked out. So we're finally gonna be getting the subway. Uh, and uh, we had the cops, we've seen the cops. There's so much, uh, there's so much that leaked out. This is crazy. Just think about it nothing, nothing, nothing. And all of a sudden, 90 plus gameplay clips leaking out. It's just wild, bro. I, I don't think anybody expected that that has been shared a lot has lucia holding up a diner she's a bit thick i gotta say she's wearing a pink crop top with blue camo Bomboka! cargo pants some type of white sneakers and she aims a pistol at a male worker demanding money there's a meter above showing the time until money. cops are dispatched the scene is clearly just for testing as the npcs lack any distinct faces and look like literal dummies and are actually called that the actions taken by the npcs is in uh, but, but Lu lucia uh, lucia and uh jason i believe that's the male character i uh, don't even remember the male character name you know what i mean but, but but lucia kicks do be kind of popping out i'm I, I was looking at it the first thing that i was like oh yeah well kicks popping out but but damn man like damn man damn. influenced by lucia's actions she's aggressive so various animations for the npcs load in reflecting fear from the robbery as it is in red dead redemption 2 npcs react dynamically to how we go about this encounter lucia eventually aims her handgun at a kneeling diner hostage and lucia is given options to rob them or a melee option jason also appears in this robbery with a handgun and it appears we can interact with them through this encounter somehow he's wearing a baseball cap backwards black long sleeve shirt cargo pants once the cops arrive we see lucia aim her handgun at another hostage with the option to threaten they then just kill them and proceed outside in which they're confronted by police the outside area is quite detailed lots of vegetation around with lucia earning two wanted stars we then see lucia and jason steal a i would say like 
it, it's, it really feels like that the graphics of this game is gonna be insane, but we're also in that it's gonna be on PS4 because the game was indeed being tested on PS4. One, if you're on PS4, Xbox One, if you find this to be a W, spam W in the comments. Let me know if that's a W or L if you think that's an L. Uh, I mean, I, I genuinely feel like that it's gonna be on last gen. Let's be real. This game has been in development since 2014 and it has been like in development like heavily, I believe since 2018, 2017. And right now we're in the final stages. We're in the end game. I mean, the gameplay ended up leaking out. I mean, what else more do you want, right? Like it's, it's in the final stages and I, I'm pretty certain more will get leaked out eventually because I've even seen, uh, I could be wrong with this one and this might not be true this might be made of stuff from people but red dead redemption 1 remaster images were kind of circulating around i've seen them uh, i i do believe that uh, i do i mean i do believe in the fact that rockstar was working at that at one point but i feel like that those images are fake and somebody just made it up uh, there's a lot of misinformation is uh, mi misinformation going around at the same time as these leaks and some of some people are just trying to be funny eh? some people are trying to just troll around and whatnot i mean it's a big day it's a massive day because game has been drier than Sahara Desert and we finally got some to talk about man. Port Gellhorn police cruiser in takeoff and crash near a dated car wash. There's a testing clip that shows I believe Jason or one of these characters taking a selfie or at the very least looking at a phone with one of their arms extended out holding the phone. There's another clip of animation showing Lucia jogging and coming to a stop. There's a clip of Jason opening a shipping container. And, and those cakes were really popping out during jogging. I've seen that. That has stacks of cash and a motorbike being put inside of it. There's a clip of Lucia aiming a handgun near an old fashioned gas station as cars pass by. Jason enters a thrift or antique shop and has the option to rob it. Lucia engages in a firefight with cops on the streets of a southern looking town. If you live in the south, you know what I mean. There's strip malls mm. nearby as well as an older apartment building behind. Lucia has earned five wanted stars during this encounter. Another clip of Jason has him shooting a boat. Lucia might have uh, got five stars, but the hacker wanted level is insane. It's in 10 billions, my man. But while on it, you can, see oh ocean. you can see the ocean has water lilies near the boat. So that's interesting. Water Jason crouches lilies. and objects move as he goes about that. Jason interacts, walks in and out of Vice City Metro Transportation. There's a clip of an older pickup truck. It passes by a sign for North Beaches and Lake Leonida on Interstate 97. The current exit right next to the vehicle takes them to Washington Beach. There's a test clip of of police shooting at Lucia behind cover and then there actually is a mission that is shown that has Jason and Lucia arriving at a strip club they meet with a character named Dre that's trying to get into the music game we follow him as the character interacts with the DJ and then a couple that are having an argument in front of a stripper and then the clip does come to a close but this is the first one that I noticed the mini map being displayed there's yeah. also a clip of Jason using an airboat an interaction with Jason that he has with a few hillbillies talking about conspiracy theories they found on Life Invader the hillbillies are relaxing next to a few trailers and an in-ground pool that is there are a lot of uh, hints at GTA 5 and there's a lot of that GTA lore into it. It's I mean if you if you if you have seen those videos and you still think that it's fake, I mean damn man, like uh, at this point they can come out with a trailer tomorrow and you're still not going to believe your GTA 6 is not real. It's never happening. I mean the amount of stuff that that was thrown in these videos in terms of like actual GTA lore, it's insane. It just proves that it's legit, but I guess no no one can now deny because Take 2 is actually indeed taking down those videos days and then there's another clip of jason and lucia being tested on in a hotel room by rockstar developers as maybe during this situation they're evading the police not entirely too sure within one clip we see lucia managing her inventory we see her holding some sort of loot bag on her back it's unclear if maybe we can put stuff within that loot bag and take it on the go some of the other details that have been found is obviously vice city being confirmed malibu club returns there's a new area called port gellhorn guns can be switched between hands guns can be picked off the floor the what up messaging app is a whatsapp parody uh a lot of this footage was recorded on PS4 and PC. Damn. There's going to be several. There we go, boys. There we go. Now, uh, I really want to know, like, God. do you think that's a W? Do you think that PlayStation 4 and Xbox One will hold it back? Now, if you really think about it, GTA 5 on PS4 and Xbox One still looks very good graphically for a 2013 game. Uh, yeah, 2014, but that's when we had the next gen. Uh, a game next gen patch i i believe like the the new version of gta 5 on playstation 4 and xbox one yeah the game is like 30 fps but i genuinely feel like that if gta 6 comes on playstation 4 it's gonna be 30 fps and most probably like 720p or maybe even less there might be cut content as well there might not be nah there will be online 110 percent like there might they might not drop single player for last gen but you bet they are gonna do online that's for damn sure okay because that's where the money is 
is gonna be at but I, I i like let's be real there's gonna be single player on the last gen version as well there might be some cut features but i do believe that this game has probably been the main game has probably been developed for playstation 4 and xbox one and it's just gonna be made better on playstation 5 pc and xbox series x and yo could you imagine this game we we don't get the next gen version for ps5 and xbox series x at launch that would be massive that would be crazy it doesn't mean that we're not gonna be able to play on next gen consoles or current gen ps5 and series x we most likely will by using the ps4 version at the very least but uh, i think this time i i beg to differ this time it's gonna be like the, we're gonna have the next gen version out ps5 and series x at the same time but i don't think that there will be like a massive difference between ps4 and xbox series x in terms of graphics yeah it would be 4k whatnot the the resolution would be better but textures wise i think it's almost going to be identical but the biggest improvement will likely be in the frame rate and that's what matters but those of you that think that it's really going to be that next gen next gen game it's not going to be that next gen next gen game but it's probably going to be the next gen open world game right and if it turns out it's like the next next gen game then i think that's gonna satisfy a lot of people and myself included i even either way though i feel like a lot of people have high expectations and it's kind of bad to have it but at the same time we have been waiting for how long nine years nine plus years so it, it's kind of wild to actually see expectations be that crazy but let me know your thoughts click on this video on the screen because people are getting bumble clad and i'll see you right there